See, I tell him because, like, I just hate conceited people. I'd, like, say, well, who are you trying to be? What are you trying to prove? Like, it's not proving anything being conceited. I'd say, like, smart enough. I, I would tell him because I don't like conceited people, and I think they're, like, idiots, you know? Old Jasmine. She works at a club with her friend Mick, who thinks he is hot stuff with women. So hot, he's hit on every single girl in the place, including her. So tell us about Mick. Well, Mick's, um, he thinks he's really great, but he's not. He's just Mr. Coat Check Guy. And, like, he thinks all these is women... That, that's what he does at the, yeah, at the club? Yeah, that's what okay. he does. And I think he thinks all the women are coming into the club to see him, but, like, they come up to him to, like, check their coats. <laughs> and that's about it. So like he like they come up and he like he looks at them like they're meat. He thinks every woman is just. How does he approach women? Um, he pretty much just undresses them with his eyes. That's all he does. And he just he kind of like saunters over to them and like gives them this little look. It's... Now he hit on you, right? Yeah. Did he get anywhere with that? No. No. He just kind of came up to me the first time I like the first time I worked. And he was like, so, when are we going to go out? And I was like, never. And I just kind of <laughs> laughed. Does he ever get lucky? Um, not that I've ever seen. And he's come on to every girl in the place? Uh, pretty much, yeah. You guys want to meet him? Yeah. Come on out here, man. How's it going? So you think you're hot? Yep. Let's go. <laughs> God's gift to women. <laughs> now, That's fine. And you think you can get any woman you want. That's what you told us. Basically, yeah. Well, what about Jasmine? Jess, she's just there, you know? She's, I work on it, but she's jealous. You know, she, from what I hear uh, uh, backstage, she's saying to her uh, that I don't pick up nobody or all this crap, this and that. But deep down inside, she knows she wants me. Whatever. Okay, okay, so you think you're just so hot. You said you're God's gift to women. Why don't we take a poll and see how many women here find you good looking? Let's Go do it. Go for it. Go for it. Girls, how many women? Put your hands up. Think he's good looking. <laughs> Wait, no, we have one girl. Well, I do too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, so, you gotta, but you gotta understand something. All these girls are looking at me right here. They're, they're, what you say, what's wrong with me? What is, you're looking at my personality. You're saying my personality's ugly. That's true. I go, you're looking at me, that, I'm a very good looking guy. That's what this girl's guy. saying. Who just said that attitude? I go, there's nothing you? wrong Stand with me. Stand up. Your attitude sucks. That's you fine. might be good looking, but you, your attitude sucks. But am I not good looking? No, I don't think so. You don't think so? I don't think so. Well, everybody has their own taste, first of all. Stand up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got a question for both of Not a question, I just, for you, the girl with the white hair. Um, first, Jasmine. first, Jasmine. Women are a piece of meat. And for you, you're like... Oh, oh no, you don't get another comment. Oh, no me. What did you say? Hello, hello. What Go did ahead. you say? Sorry. Go, he said women are a piece of meat. So yeah. do you I'll have something you better to say? You better if I come back here. For her friend, you look like you the type of guy who used to beat up in public sit school. Down. Sit down. That's a public school, buddy. That's a Go public ahead, school. Lisa. Women are pieces of meat. Do women even talk to you? Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> Stand up. Okay, he thinks he's all that, but she keeps telling us she's not getting lucky. Who's, so, like, she say that's about me? Yeah. What does she see? She sees me at the bar where I work. I work with her at a bar. She, that's where she sees me. Are, go, you get, are you getting lucky? I go, first of all, I have, like the majority of the time, the, girl, the broads are coming up to me. They come up to me. Broads? What is ladies, broads? ladies, they come up to me. Mm -hmm. So what am I supposed to think? What, they come up to me because they, oh, I think he has a nice personality, they're gonna come up to me? They come up to me because I'm good looking. Has it ever occurred to you that they're going up to you because they have to give you their coat or something? Not because no, you're not, But I'm not talking about at the bar. See, I'm not, I'm not talking about where I work. See, if I go to a club or what, 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 some sort, the mall or wherever I go, you gotta, you gotta understand, they're coming up to me. Majority of the time, they're up to me. It's not me going up to them. Okay, I have a remark for him, not for anyone on stage. First of all, women are not a piece of meat, and any woman can troll any man like this. So, Jasmine.
Jasmine, you told us that Mick has this look. Yeah. What is this look? I, I would love to master it, but I can't. I would love to do it, but I can't. Like, I can't do it, but it's just, he has this look, and he has, like, this window in his coat check thing, and, like, he just kind of, like, leans over, and it's like he's looking right through you. Let's see the look, Mick. <laughs> the look. A little look, you know. Give, her, wink. give her a wink. You got a little wink there. <laughs> Okay, it's for the guy on the outside. Er, before you came out, Jasmine said you undress girls with your eyes. Is that the only way to take their clothes off? Excuse me? What did he say? No, I just have a, a question for the guy earlier. This one here in the jean, I don't know his name. You said you were, sorry, Danny? You said you were like omnisexual. Does that mean you're into animals and stuff too? <laughs> I don't have an answer for you. Now, Mick, do you turn down girls? If so be it, if it happens, if they're not good looking, if they don't have a good personality, I will, no problem. So and I now, do it, I'll do it majority of the time. If I just, some, a lot of the girls just don't attract me. They're not good looking. Jasmine, you had something to say to Mick. Uh, to Mick, you came here to tell him something. Well, it's just, I mean, I think he is a really, really nice guy, and I think he's a good looking guy. And it's just, he just has this arrogance, like, aura about him. And I mean, cockiness is okay, a little bit of that is okay, but he's just far too arrogant. And if he were to lose that, he probably could have girls eating out of the palm of his hand. You, you gotta understand something, I'm a confident man. I'm not a cocky man, I'm a very confident man. You're an arrogant and the, it, man. And the only way to do it in this world is to be confident. If you're not confident with anything you do, you'll be nothing. You gotta be confident in everything you do. You may be good looking, I'll admit you are good looking, and you may get a lot of girls' intentions, attention, but let me tell you one thing, once you start speaking, those girls are just gonna tell you to beat it, honey. That is not okay, you, okay, you said you're a confident man. Okay, and confident men make it places, so why are you a uh, co-check man then? <laughs> when we come back, we'll meet 18-year-old Rick. He says his friend Antonio tries to be Mr. G. Because you have a great body? Do you want to tell them that there's more to you than just your looks? Call us at 1-800-508-CAMILLA and tell us your story. If I knew somebody who was really conceited, I'd probably tell them to get back on earth and be realistic. I would tell them to get off their high horse and get back on the ground. If they're that conceited, I'd probably just let someone else tell them, because someone will. <laughs> who want to tell their friends that they're not as hot as they think they are. Meet 18-year-old Rick. He says his friend Antonio dresses and acts and talks like Mr. GQ. So tell us about Antonio. Well, the first thing about him is the only good thing about him is his clothing. Uh, he goes to tanning salons maybe twice a week uh, just to tell people he's on vacations so he can get the girls. Uh, he dyes his hair so he can look like the Italian GQ kind of style. He goes to clubs and he works at them, so that way he thinks it's an advantage over girls. Like he could take them, get them anytime he wants. He uses them and abuses them. I mean... Does he get girls? Yeah, he gets a lot of them, actually, but he just goes from one to another, like maybe once a week, twice a week, has one night stands, stuff so, like that. Now, you, you've been friends with him for a long time? Yeah, for nine years. So how do you feel about it? Now, he's got a girlfriend too, right? Yeah, he's got a girlfriend now. Yeah. And he's picking up all these other girls. and mm -hmm. So how do you feel about it? Well, I don't feel too good about his girlfriend, right? For the, girl, for the girlfriend, but still, the way it is that he's gotta settle down and get a job. Like, he goes out every night, he doesn't come home, you know? He just parties all night, every night. That's and that's his... why you're here to tell him. Yeah, that's his Okay, life. let's bring him out here. Come on out, Antonio. <laughs> So you told our producers that everyone thinks you're hot. Is that true? Yeah. <laughs> so how, what do they say to you? They think I'm hot too. Pardon me? They think I'm hot too. So why do you think you're hot? Well, I'm always picked up by girls. They either fall in love with my eyes. They either like my looks, my ass. The point is, they come to me. <laughs> they always come to me. 
They always say I'm hot, I'm gorgeous. I'm not saying I'm the most gorgeous guy in the world, but they do say I'm hot. Now, you have a girlfriend, right? Yeah. How long have you had your girlfriend? A month. <laughs> you, so you've only been with her for a month, but you're fooling around on her, right? Yeah. From one time to another, yeah. <laughs> you either are or you yeah. aren't. Yes, you are. Are you using safe sex? Yes. Okay, good. No, actually, he isn't. Actually, yeah, yeah. No, you don't know. How would you know that? No, because all the times you tell me that. You sometimes have... no. No. Sometimes most, not. Like most of the time. All, one no, time not time. is enough times not. Yeah. <laughs> now, Rick told us that um, two of the women that were with you actually ended up with Rick. Isn't that, is that true, Rick? They ended up with Rick, but I never went out with them. One of them I used to get this. I needed a pager, I wa uh, so I pretended going out with her, but I didn't really like her. I did not kiss her. I never went on one date with her. That was a lie, though, because as soon as she came to me, you called my house at 5 in the morning. Okay, I was a little, threatening I was a little pissed. With your a friends. Little. You're threatening me with your friends that you were going to come down to my house at 5 in the morning. Uh, I was, I was drunk me. that time. And I had time. to work like at 9 in the morning, so. Okay. okay. We have a question. Actually, a comment. I hate to burst your bubble, but I think you should get liposuction to your head, and then we'll talk. <laughs> Uh, I have a question for Mick. Mick, do you find that uh, when you pick up the women at, at the club that you work at, do you find that they're intoxicated at the end of the night and that's why they pick you up? It's, it's beginning of the night, end of the night doesn't really make, make a difference to me. Hey, you telling us about how you look good, you came a pair, buy a new pair of shoes, what's up? Are you talking to me? I'm talking to this one with the white on at the end. Antonio. I Antonio. I bought new shoes? No, she didn't. She doesn't like your shoes, Antonio. <laughs> But that's okay, because you're not here to talk about your shoes. Now, um, Antonio, what do you say to your friend here who brought you here? He, he says you think you're hot and you're not. What have you got to say to him? He's jealous. Are you jealous? No, I have, I have, I have no reason to be jealous. I have a comment for the guy in the white shirt. The only reason why he's hot is because the room temperature in here is a little above his <laughs> Rick, you guys have known each other for nine years. What do you have to say to your friend? No, well, I'm glad he cares, you know? <laughs> I'm serious. But do you agree some, with him? In some points, yes, I do. So Rick, what do you want to say to Antonio? I want to say get a life and come back to reality and maybe get a job. And I have do have a, steady a job. Girlfriend. I work at clubs. I work with Energy 108. I work with clubs. That's yeah, a job. That is not that a job. Guy. That's a permanent vacation. OK, we have a comment? The guy in the white, is it that? Antonio, is it that uh, pear sheep physique that you pick up the chicks? <laughs> no, it's usually my eyes. <laughs> I just want to say, like, you have a steady girlfriend, get a life, you know? Just come back to reality. You have to wake up in the morning, get a hard-working job, you know? Have a steady girlfriend, not fool around, have safe sex. Very good. When we come back, we're going to meet 25-year-old Christine. She says her friend Roger thinks he's so hot that even the women he goes out with aren't good enough for him. Don't go away. About have a bad temper? Are they angry all the time? Have they become a walking time bomb of emotion? If you're tired of walking on eggshells every time they're around, call us at 1-800-508-CAMILLA and tell us your story. There's this girl we all know, and she perceives herself as being the best looking. When she goes to the mall, she always says, yeah, well, I'll find us some guys because... No, it's usually my eyes. <laughs> I just want to say, like, you have a steady girlfriend, get a life, you know? Just come back to reality. You have to wake up in the morning, get a hard-working job, you know? Have a steady girlfriend, not fool around, have safe sex. Very good. When we come back, we're going to meet 25-year-old Christine. She says her friend Roger thinks he's so hot that even the women he goes out with aren't good enough for him. Don't go away. About have a bad temper? Are they angry all the time? Have they become a walking time bomb of emotion? If you're tired of walking on eggshells every time they're around, call us at 1-800-508-CAMILLA and tell us your story. There's this girl we all know, and 
she perceives herself as being the best looking. When she goes to the mall, she always says, yeah, well, I'll find us some guys because I'm better looking than you guys. I'm the funny one, I'm the smart one, I'm the pretty one. And it's just embarrassing almost. old Christine. She says her friend Roger thinks he's really hot with women, but she says the truth is he's as cold as ice. Hey, Christine. Hey, Camilla. Now, Christine, you work for us, don't you? <laughs> yes, I do. And you begged us to let you come on because you have this friend who just thinks he is <laughs> something else. Camilla, the guy thinks he's so hot. He's sort of a mixture between uh, Art Garfunkel, the guy from America's Funniest Home Videos, and Kramer from Seinfeld. <laughs> And he thinks he's hot. He thinks he's hot. He thinks he has this incredible body. You know, he works out. He wears t-shirts that are too small. He probably wore them in grade seven. They're these white t-shirts. He doesn't shower because he likes to like, you know, uh, he thinks the oils attract the women, that na natural manly smell, the musky armpit, you know. And guess what, though? He makes his dates take showers before they do the nasty. <laughs> now, he thinks he's got a hot body, does he? Oh, for sure. He, uh, one time before, well, it was back in high school, we wanted, he wanted to take me to my uh, formal. Of course, I said no. He said, oh, yeah, let me show you. Put on my Lycra dress, strutted down my stairs, and show, pr pr blah, proceeded to show me his curves. Now, does he get a lot of women? Obviously, he didn't get you, but no, does he get he a lot of women? No, he didn't get me, but uh, he definitely tries, and the problem is he does get girls. That's the thing. He just thinks they're dogs. All right, you guys want to meet Roger? Come on out, Roger. Yes, yes, yes. This is for you. Hey, Roger. Hi, how's everybody doing? <laughs> so now, you think you're hot. Well, look, I gotta explain a few things here. Now, I'm aware, yeah, it's funny, the nose, that, right? But it's an overall appearance. Females go for the overall thing. They want attractiveness, sincerity, and talent. Hey, girl. That kind of thing, you know what I'm trying to say? It's an overall thing, and women want everything. Not just a pretty Brad Pitt face, the little features, you know, oh, they yeah, want it yeah. all. You have thing against Brad Pitt, Camilla. Well, don't I don't have anything against him, so. <laughs> now, tell us about these tight t-shirts and stuff that you're well, wearing. Well, here's the story. You go to these clubs, these guys, they work out really hard, and they're big. They're big guys. But the thing is this. Women want a toned physique, lean. They're not looking for those big muscles like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Looking for a nice, toned, you know, physique. Something that looks good when the lights are dim, you know, like yeah, right. Richard Gere kind of thing. He thinks he's a jaguar that in bed. <laughs> Okay, we have a comment. Yeah, I got a comment for Kramer. I think he's got to put on some muscle before he shows it. Oh, oh you're breaking my heart. Now, Christine tells us that you don't shower. What is that about? Now, listen, you guys will agree, right? When you don't put effort in, the girls come running. As soon as you want them, when you're like, well, you know, like, I got a date tonight, right? You never get them. They destroy you. But when you don't put effort in, I don't know.